Um, in one sentence, can you tell us why the government is introducing a mandatory internet filter and why it isn't optional? <laughs> <laughs> you can't buy it from the bookshelves. You can't buy it from a newsagent. You can't watch it at the movie. You can't buy it in a newspaper. This is material that is today refuse classification. And it's important that people understand. They make the decisions and go, no, that classifies in this way, as it should be. Instruction in self-harm is banned. Euthanasia is banned. Fetish material, Facebook <laughs> is banned. Don't complain about the filter capturing euthanasia. Get the euthanasia laws changed if that's what you think. Hey, we've got to make sure the government doesn't interfere too much, otherwise you end up like China, you end up like Iran. <laughs> on the bookshelves. You can't buy it from a newsagent, you can't watch it at the movie, you can't buy it in a newspaper. Unfortunately, if you give, if you publish a list of web pages, you actually provide access to the material. Have you seen the internet? <laughs> <laughs> Instruction in self-harm is banned. Euthanasia is banned. Fetish material, sex party is banned. So we want to make sure that people have confidence in the administration of this blacklist and child pornography, bestiality, pro-rape websites. We, we should get rid of the underage drinking laws because kids still manage to find ways to get around the law and have drinks. We should be, we should get rid of speeding laws because some Australians still speed. Right? Okay. I mean, you haven't asked me about the impact on the speed. <laughs> <laughs> Instruction in self-harm is banned. Euthanasia is banned. Fetish material or web pages is banned. You can't buy it from the bookshelves. You can't buy it from a newsagent. You can't watch it at the movie. You can't buy it in a newspaper. Hey, we've got to make sure the government doesn't interfere too much. <laughs> uh, I maintain a, a, a very small digital uh, footprint. <laughs> <laughs>